Um, we've just come through the Riverside Renaissance. We, we have spent a lot of money on great projects. We've got great separations. We've got beautiful parks. We've got all kinds of things. Some of our residents are noticing that maybe there's not been so much spent on routine regular maintenance. Uh, that maybe some slurry coating on neighborhood streets doesn't occur in a timely way. Streets maybe are breaking down to the point of needing replacement, not repairs. What are you going to do about it? Mike, you get to go first. Thank you. You know, I've enumerated this on my website, Mike4, the number four, riverside.com. And I've laid this out, and I literally have hundreds of pictures of your neighborhoods that I've taken. We've got curved street scutters. Some of them look like roller coasters. The patches are just horrible. We've got one-inch little uh, rises in sidewalks. Our seniors can't walk them with their, their walkers, let alone anybody else come along that's going to trip and cause liability to the city. It probably would be millions of dollars. You know, we've let our infrastructure settle down to a point where it's not, it's not effective and it's not good for our people. We've got tree trimming, for instance, the palms on palm. Uh, they haven't been trimmed in seven to eight years, according to all the local residents. And when the wind comes along, we've got hundreds of palm fronds that are falling down. We need council people that are going to be responsive, that are going to fix these things, that are going to look at these quality of life issues that surround our entire city. Be proactive about it. Respond to our people when they call. Provide them with an answer and do something. I'm a can-do person, and I will do, and I will help make our neighborhoods look better. We can't have roller coaster sidewalks. We can't have curbs that have been allowed to have a hump in them where they don't drain the water. This is unacceptable and will improve. Well, I don't disagree. I didn't hear a solution there, but I did don't disagree. There is a solution in the works for those that don't know. Um, the city has set aside $35 million for a road renaissance. Now, right now, it's not spending it because there we have the freeway construction going on. We have a reclaimed water project going down Victoria. We have the grade separation at Riverside Drive and Streeter. So until all those roadway projects are done, they're not gonna do a major road improvement program. Once that is done, they're gonna do a street renaissance from one side of the city to the other. In the meantime, if you call 311 when your sidewalk is raised up, they're supposed to come out and do a repair. If they don't, call your council person. The council person will, should be working with the city manager to make sure department heads are taking care of the issue. Uh, if you call me, I will promise to do that. I will get with the city manager, we will speak to the department head, and if it's something that's not being addressed, like this promise, we'll deal with it. Okay. Thank you. Mike, another 30 seconds? Absolutely. The real rehabilitation program, as it's called, is designed to hit certain roads. One of them is Magnolia, and there's a few others that are in there, and they're not all in work free. And that is spread out throughout the city on just some of our major routes that, as one lady told me, I'm going to have to trade in my car for a 4x4 so I won't lose my front end. You know, and that's ridiculous. It's been allowed to go too long. We've not done preventative maintenance with uh, slurry seals and sealing. Talk to people that have said that they moved in in 1974 and their road's never been touched, ever. That's unacceptable, not gonna happen on my watch. And as your council person, I will be your advocate and I will work hard to be able to take care of these Thank problems. You.